with the release of the Caretune 3 as a both appendix carry and hip carry holster, it's gained a lot of popularity and a lot of questions come up about what's the difference between the Caretune 3 and the Velo 4. So we're going to talk about that today. Tentacore Velo is our purpose-built appendix carry holster. Uh, the intent of this holster is kind of an out-of-the-box holster that works for most everybody. It's going to have all the features needed to maximize concealment for appendix carry. So it has an integrated body contour and an integrated camming bar. Because of the body contour is designed to sit in this area of your body, it doesn't really work at all for hip carry. Right? It's going to stick out in kind of an awkward, weird way for hip carry. And in addition to that, for hip carry, it doesn't have any cant adjustment. If you're going to carry a gun on your hip, you're going to want some level of cant adjustment and you're probably not going to carry um, vertical because the grip will stick out and compromise concealment. Um, so the Velo doesn't really allow for that and isn't designed as a both appendix carry and hip carry holster. The Caretune 3, however, is. So the Caretune 3 does not have an integrated body contour, so it's flat on the underside. Um, and then it has a camming bar, but the camming bar is removable. So you can remove the camming bar, but it also comes in three different sizes. So if you want to carry it on the hip, you can do that. Um, so it provides flexibility for both appendix carry and hip carry if you prefer that. So body contour, obviously there's body contour here, no body contour here. If you do prefer something like that, you can use foam, uh, you can use yoga block, you could use Dr. Scholl's insole, you put all kinds of different things on here that you would attach with Velcro. Um, if you wanted the option to either carry uh, appendix with some sort of muzzle body contour device and then remove it if you wanted to switch to hip carry. One of the other features here is the um, T1 clips. So the T1 clips have these slots in them here. Um, on the Velo, there is one single point of attachment. So you have about 0.45 inches of ride height adjustment on the Velo. So for the Care Tomb 3, we have two sets of holes. So I can attach here and I have ride height adjustment with the T1 clip or I can attach at a lower point with ride height adjustment in the T1 clip. And that allows for almost double the amount of ride height adjustment. The slots on the Care Tomb 3 allow also for rotational adjustment. And that rotational adjustment can happen at either position down here or can also happen if they're set at a higher point. So the camming bar works with the belt. And so what that allows is for the gun to rotate this way rotating into the body. The belt comes along here and cinches over the camming bar. Uh, and then the difference between the Caretune 3 and the Velo is the Velo has the integrated camming bar and the Caretune 3 has a bolt-on camming bar. And then there are three different heights. Um, so you can run the Caretune 3 without a camming bar or three different heights, which provides different flexibility, which obviously is important. Uh, most people who are gonna carry on the hip are probably not gonna use a camming for appendix, you're probably going to use the medium or the taller camming bar to assist with the rotation of the grip into the body. Another feature difference, as you can see, is the sweat guard height. And so the Velo comes with a full sweat guard. If I insert the gun here, it comes full and you have full sight coverage. If you don't like a full sweat guard, you can always cut it off. So on the Care Tomb 3, the mid-ride sweat guard, a lot of people for both appendix carry and hip carry prefer the mid-ride. Um, most people for hip carry prefer the mid-ride, so we went with that on the Care Team 3 since it's a performance holster for both carry positions. And then with the Velo, um, there are a lot of folks who appendix carry who want protection on this from this rear sight from their stomach area. Um, and so we went with that on the Velo 4. If you want a shorter sweat guard, obviously you can always cut it down um, and just use like a sandy block or something like that to finish it off. One of the other features on this is the bottom, so the Velo has an open bottom, the Caretune 3 has a closed bottom. They both should allow for a threaded barrel to pop through the end. Um, and the reason why we went with a open bottom here, it also gives you the flexibility that if you wanted to run a 17 or something or a comp, you could. Um, on here, you still get the threaded barrel protection, but on the hip, if you leave this cut like this on the hip, this will pinch the skin so and be uncomfortable so we wanted to round this off and close the bottom on that one the velo comes in more different lengths options than the care tomb does uh, and the reason why is because the body contour kind of drives the um, contact with the body um, which allows us to like on a 26 we can cut the front here or with the longer 
uh, whole guns like a 17 or a 34, we can cut it longer to, to get full muzzle coverage. Um, and so since the body contour drives how the holster is interacting with the body, we're able to do that. With the Care Team 3, we pretty much kind of stop at the compact size and we don't have subcompact guns. So we have like a 19, it's a 19 and a 26 holster. SIG 365 is both a 365 XL and 365 combo. The Glock 4348 is the same holster. And we do that because you need the extra length. Um, the extra length, once it's inside the pants, is immaterial for concealment. But if you don't have the extra length, you lose leverage below the belt line and you'll get what's called tip out and the gun will pop out. And that's gonna happen more so here, but also here on the hip a little bit as well. And so we have that added extra length um, to assist with concealment. So the Keratum 3 and the Velo both work really well. I think for someone who maybe is a newer shooter, it would make a lot of sense to go with the Keratum 3 because then if you're not sure about appendix carry, you have the ability to hip carry. Uh, if you want just the simple out of the box, gonna work appendix carry solution, the Velo is definitely the way to go.